Bro, they're all everybody's f***ing with him. Literally everyone is constantly f***ing with him. It's so funny. <laughs> this is so awesome, dude. Oh, uh, I forgot how troll the Turkish Esnaf is. Birka Vays Deram Lutfan? What? No. No, that's bad. Bit of Bro, is he like this it with other languages? And I just had no idea because I I like, this is the only time, because I'm a native speaker, Turkish friend. so, like, I can tell when he is, like, very clearly not a native speaker at all. Like, he's worse than Tadak, you know what I mean? Like, this whole time, every single person was, like, trying to tell me, like, oh, dude, his... No, actually, I think he has, like, like, Cantonese is, like... Doesn't he do decent Mandarin? Like, his Mandarin's good, right? Like, that's what I've heard originally but like everything else is like his specialty is mandarin dude knows 10 languages cut him some slack i think his chinese really impresses but yeah he sucks in many languages bro now you know how i feel when he speaks spanish including turkish hey coffee coffee, coffee. Uh, one two two uh, one one one america liam uh when Tur turkey get him uh, Turkish Biraz uh, Yeah, so Turk have a Çok Guzel Didorum, Çok Guzel Shekerli, the suit. Oh no, no, I mean, I respect him for trying. I respect him for trying. I think this is like this is when I find out something about Shauma. That like maybe I didn't know about. Like, I think if you don't know the language at all and you listen, like he you think he's eating. You know what I mean? It's very bad. I suspect his other trials, like maybe his Spanish can't be this bad. There's no way his Spanish is this bad. Cause like it's a way more popular language than Turkish, just by sheer numbers. There's no way it's this bad. I'm telling you guys, his Turkish is really bad. Because the guy in the chat is saying like, well, he's better than a tourist. Yeah, no shit. I mean, he sounds exactly like a tourist. Biraz yaşıyorum. Yeah. Like he said, biraz yaşıyorum. So he said, I speak. He's trying to say, I speak a little bit of Turkish, but he actually ends up saying, I live, I live a little bit, which I don't even know why he said that because those two words don't sound like one another at all. But so Turk kavesi çok güzel. Bana ana dil gibi geliyor. Ana dili. Okay, shut the fuck up. He sounds authentic Turk to me. Shut the fuck up. Çok güzel. Şekerli. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. Şekerli. Ve süt, süt. Yok. Okay. Yok. There's no milk in Turkish coffee. Uh, so the guy goes, Sütü yok. Şekerli, all right. Türkçeyi nereden öğrenin abi? Türkçen öğreniyorum. Öğreniyorum. İstanbul'da ilk defa gittim. Bugün, bugün. İlk defa. Bugün geldin. Nereden geldin? Ankara'dan. Ankara ya. No, the coffee guy is so funny. He went, nereden geldin? Ankara'dan mı? Niye Ankara'dan gelsin? Dallama. <gülüyor> e, Ankara'dan geldi amına koyayım. <gülüyor> Nereden geldin? Ankara'dan mı? <gülüyor> He, he's so stupid. You know, it's just dumbest 
because he's like, where are you? Where'd you come here from? Ankara? Why would he be in Ankara? <laughs> it's just such a dumb question to ask him. Like he very clearly is not coming. <laughs> he very clearly didn't come into the country from another place in Turkey. Gidejim. Ankara daha güzel, İstanbul daha güzel. İstanbul. Türk kafesi ilk defa, ilk defa hoş mu? Hoş mu? Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. İlk defa yaşım, yaşım. İçi cem, içi cem, İlk defa içi cem. Denemek istiyorum. Good. Çok güzel. Loki flaming your city, bro. Ankara sucks is a meme. He's even probably saying, "Nereden geldin? Ankara'da mı?" Diye. He's probably memeing. Do you think these logos are cringing inside or impressed? No, because no Western dude ever gives a shit about learning the language. So yes, automatically, everyone in Turkey is gonna be like, "Oh, that shit's that shit's sick." And I still think it's sick, by the way. I'm not being like, it's a sociological critique of the Angara dialect. Okay. Okay. Abartıyorsunuz. Abartıyorsunuz. Yani yeter. Okay. Tamam. Angara. Angara bebesi. Angara bebesi. O kadar da, o kadar da değişik değil yani Ankara'nın, uh, Ankara'dakilerin konuşma şekli. Turks in the chat gaslighting me. He's making an effort which most tourists, especially Americans, don't do. Exactly. Exactly. So I respect him for even learning a little bit of Turkish. Abi böyle konuşan Türkler var. Yemin ediyorum bir sene Almanya gidip gelince böyle takılıyorlar, pozırlar. <gülüyor> anyway. Wait, he kind of sounds a lot like you. You stutter a lot. No, brother. I I mean, I I skip a step every now and then in my Turkish because I haven't spoken Turkish except for with my brother in a long ass time, but it's ridiculous to say I sound like this. Oh, the sand is is uh uh Sijak Sijak Sijak Sijak Sijak Dude, he's speaking. Okay, he's saying Sijak. Okay, it's supposed to be Sijak, right? But the reason why he's saying Sijak with an I is because U does not exist as a sound. Like Tariq is how you say Tariq's name, but in English there is no letter for it, so they say Tariq Tariq. So. That's why, like, when he learned the word, he very obviously learned it not from, like, a natural uh, Turkish speaker, but instead from, like, reading it, I guess, in a language that doesn't... Reading it in a program that doesn't actually have, like, lowercase i without the the dot on top of it. And that's why he's saying Sijak. Okay, 50. Kolay gelsin. Oha. Kahve ne kadar da 50 lira mı? Götüne soktular mı bunu? Ne oldu bir dakika? Artık öyle mi yoksa sadece Amerikalı diye mi? 50 normal değil mi? Oğlum ben Türkiye'ye en son gittiğimde kaç senesiydi lan? Amına koyayım. Murat! Murat! You can't hear me. Um last I don't know when the last time I was in Turkey, but 50 lira for coffee sounds insane. Like that sounds insane to me. Like I, I always go back to the price of like doner, okay? Ekmek arası doner en fazla 10 liraydı ben Türkiye'de yaşarken. En fazla. Tavuk değil, et doner bir de yani. When I was growing up in Turkey, uh, before inflation got completely out of control, when I lived there, maximum you would pay like 10 lira for uh, doner. Ekmek arası döner. Uh, döner inside, like a döner sandwich. Okay. Now it's like 200 lira. 50 TL ucuz kahve için şu an. Türk kahvesi bir mekanda 200 TL falan. Oha. Döner is the unit of measurement for the economy. Well, I mean, it is a good way to measure it because it's like fairly stable, fairly consistent. Oh, I like it. Çok sıcak. Geliyorum tersan. It looks like an espresso, you know, you see? It like, it's you not. think it's gonna be like an espresso, but it's very different. Çok lezzetli. I'm a sart. Sart. Daha sart kafe. Daha sart kafe America. Dan, yeah. Çok, uh, I'm a çok, çok lezzetli. Teşekkür ederim. Nutella mı? Nutella. Taze, taze mı? Bayat, bayat. Bayat. Bayat. He said taze mı? <laughs> and then they started fucking with them. They're like, nah, it's stale. <laughs> Classic. 
You guys like, no, I'm selling you stale cement. <laughs> Remember, he's trying. Don't make fun of this dude, okay? I, I mean, obviously the Turks would never, the Turks would never make fun of him. They probably love that there's like a white boy out here speaking the language. But bizim esnaflar aşırı tol abi emin ediyorum evet. Turkish, Turkish, uh, you know, small business owners and like sales people like this, like street vendors, are so sarcastic and so troll. But anyway. What I was going to say is, like, they're cooking him, but, like, in a friendly way. They're cooking him, but in a friendly way. And I think, I guess what I was going to say is, like, I think a lot of people that, like, make fun of this dude and say that he's bad partially do that because they think he's, like, really good or he's, like, supposedly really good at speaking whatever language he's speaking. But if you look at it just simply from the perspective of, like, he's trying to learn the language a little bit, it's it's fun. It's cool. Because, like, he's putting himself out there. He's putting himself out there. He's trying to learn the language. Like, I respect it. it it's, it's fine to want to learn. It's fine to want to learn a different language. And you, when you're trying it at first, like, it's really bad. Can I get away with saying, Allah canım also da ölmüşlerini siksem. As a crazy white boy, if I have good pronunciation, it goes so hard for shit talking. That is the most insane statement I've ever heard. I didn't even know this. I've never heard this in my 32 years of being alive. Allah canım also da ölmüşlerini siksem. May Allah take my life so I can f**k your dead relatives, basically, and your f dead friends. I've never even heard that before. Onu sikiyim. Ben bile bilmiyordum. Emhat bu manyak amına koyayım. CIA mi gerçekten? Benim bilmediğim bir şey çıkardı. Evet. Oğlum senden benden daha fazla Türkçe biliyor adam. <gülüyor> Abi bunlara kolay gelsin nasıl çevirirsin? Kolay gelsin. May it come easy to you. That's like a very common phrase in Turkish. Kolay gelsin. You say that when you're like entering a place or exiting a place where you say may it come easy to you. That's a deal. Okay. New York, New York, da simit yok ama bagel, bagel var. Oh, simit is like bagel. It's um, uh, şimdi denemek istiyorum. Of, of, of. Simit yapacağız gelip Amerika. Orada dükkan yapacağız Amerika. He will come to America and he will open simit. Oh, and you have simit show? Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Kazıkladı 25 lira değildir herhalde. Yapmayın etmeyin arkadaşlar. 25 lira simide olur mu ya? Anasının amını sikiyim yani. Oha. Abi kazıkladı ne diyorsun? 25 lira değil lan. Okey bilmiyorum ki anlamıyorum ki. Abi kahve 50 lira diyorsunuz. Aa, ucuz diyorsunuz 50 lira. 25 lira simit olur mu ya? 1 liraydı lan. 1 liraydı. Ben Türkiye'de yaşarken 1 liralık simit amana koyayım. 25. Simit is supposed to be like the cheapest form of food that you can get from a street vendor. It is supposed to be one lira. It was one lira when I was in Turkey. Normal simit 10 lira böyle iş bir şeyler olunca 25 oldunuz. Okay, they're saying no, uh, simit normally is like 10 lira, but he's cooking him a little bit right now. Uh, English? English? English? Yes, English. Oh, yeah. Wait. Bro, I think it literally says right. Oh, my God. Dog, it says it right here is 10 lira. Oh my god, he's fucking him raw. Bro, I see it. It literally says Simit 10 lira right here. He hit him with a 2.5x, dude. The paper right in front of him. Belki Nutella'lı. Lan ne Nutella'sı amına koyayım? Baksana. Oh, yes. very good. Yes. yes. Yes, better than me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Teşekkür, teşekkür. Teşekkür. All right, Simit ve Nutella. Oh, it is. Oh, never mind. It is with Nutella. Abi Nutella'lı aldı o yüzden galiba. Lan Simit'e Nutella mı koyuyorlar lan? Simit'e Nutella konur mu abi? Neler neler yapıyorlar ya Türkiye'de kafayı yediniz galiba siz. It's still it's I've never in my life seen Nutella in Simit. Nutella is obviously uh, a staple, but like not in Simit. Simit is supposed to be eaten with um Simit is is supposed to be eaten with like cheese. 
Like there's a triangle cheese that you can have it with. Cream cheese is really good with cream cheese. The triangle, uh, the the triangle cheese is basically like cream cheese. Bayos painted is the most goaded version of it, obviously. Yeah, vosh kirit, exactly. La vosh kiri. Gevret, gevret Ankara simidiyle bir yerde Nutella delirirsin. Bokumuzu yiyoruz burada gel. It's for the tourists. Nutella on everything. It's weird, dude. <laughs> okay, wait, we're gonna try. I'm lunching here today. Mm. Oh, yeah. Çok güzel. Ben wait, what did he say? This is the guy? Okay, wait, we're gonna try. I'm lunching here today. Mm. Oh, yeah. Çok güzel. Ben geliyorum, Amerika diyor. Fırın yapıyoruz orada, simit çıkarıyoruz. Please. America, America layer, simit. Yeah, they have simit sarayı out here, by the way, for the Turks that don't know. Uh, there's one in New York. He actually, uh, I remember, Shauma went to the New York simit sarayı. Seviyor. Simit çıkarıyoruz. Please. America, America layer, simit. Seviyor. Çok seviyor. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You have a great. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, my silly ass countryman, bro. Yes. Uh, is it like a bagel? No, it's not. It's um, the sesame taste is way more prominent and not in the way that you could taste it in a sesame bagel. It's more like um, the, the, the mouth feel is closer to a pretzel without this, uh, without the sesame seeds, but the sesame is very, very uh, prominent. It's like, it's a uh, salty, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like crustier. It's like a little bit harder than a, than a pretzel. It's really good. It is really, really, really good. There's a girl. Wow. This is like a bagel. It's true what I said. In New York, it's the same thing. Uh, here we are feeding the birds. Hey. Uh, uh, okay. Kush. Oh, yeah. Cool. And you, and you sell this one? Okay, Kush Beslemek is the autumn. Yeah, Istanbul da Kush Beslemek is the autumn. Oh, he's, he's, he's. I mean, he sounds. It, it sounds like he's a massive tourist, like who's just learned a couple of words in in the language, because that is what it is doing. Hasan Abi is so easily amused. I mean, it makes me happy to see a dude who's like trying to speak Turkish. But like, this is definitely not like, it's because like, it's because for me personally, for me personally, I've always thought that he just like pops off. If I said this is you in Japan, would you be offended? No, not at all. No, that's what I was. That's what I've been thinking of. Like, I'm realizing that I probably come across to this, to the locals in Japan. Like, that's literally what I, I it's like making me cringe a little bit about my own behavior. Which is like, I never thought that I was good at, at speaking Japanese at all. You're much louder than this guy. Adam kalenin önünde okçu kulesi çekmiş, yapmış kendine İstanbul Defender AK. Someone said this is the Xiaoman, uh, Xiaoman New York City experience. When you see him speak your native language, I wouldn't know, but others agreed. Yeah, I, I had no idea because I don't speak any of the other languages that he speaks. So I personally have always thought he's just popping off the most swagged out white boy out there. The most swagged out white boy to ever do it. You know what I mean? So like, so when I, when I hear him speak my native language, I'm like, oh my God, is this how he sounds to everyone else in their own native tongues? Now, of course, for the record, like I said, I still think it's cool that he's trying to learn the language, but I'm also recognizing that like he maybe isn't as, as good as I thought he was. He also might just be bad at Turkish. Maybe. That is also true. His Cantonese is perfect, though. He explains on his channel he lived in China, and also his wife is Chinese. I guess he pops off in Mandarin because he won that Jubilee game. His Chinese is really good. He has strengths and weaknesses. Wait, you're Turkish? What's next, bro? You're going to be shocked when I tell you at the top of the hour there's a three-minute ad break? Come on, dog. Don't come at me at the top of the hour with a weak-ass bait like that. His Mandarin is fluent. His Cantonese is also very good. That's what I've heard. That's what like everyone was saying. It's the autumn. Weird. Okay. Kushlar talk. 
Kush var çok. Çok çok çok çok kuş çok yemek var. Too much. Me eat, okay. Oh, they were going away. Kuşlar gitti. Yedin mi hepsini yoksa ne yaptın? Yedim. Bro, they're all everybody's fucking with him. Literally everyone is constantly fucking with him. It's so funny. Oh, I forgot how how trolled the Turkish esnaf uh, is. Angry seller. Everyone knows he is just shouting all the customers. Can you understand his pronunciation or is it bad? No, it's really bad. But it doesn't matter. It's like the attempt is what matters. This is one of my favorite foods. Artık şey değil mi? Uh, çiğ köfte yasak diyorlardı. Ya da şey gerçek çiğ köfte yasak değil mi? So çiğ köfte is raw meatballs. And originally, originally it was uh, done with actual meat, raw meat. And the meat is actually cooked with the spices. But I'm pretty sure nowadays you can only get that at like a, like a restaurant. But if it's your, if it's at like a street corner or something like this, like a restaurant like that, storefront like that, they don't make it with like raw meatballs, with raw meat. Uh, and, and they make it with, uh, new food is shown. Okay. So this is one of my favorite foods. Bitch, what do you mean? Chi köfte is one of my favorite foods. It's like kokoreç and chi köfte are two of my favorites. Bulgur, bulgur. Yeah. They make it with bulgur. Lentils. So he's just famously angry. Yes. Okay. All right, all right, let's try. Okay. Well, uh -huh. Pack it, you will. No, no, no, no. Wrap, wrap inside. This wrap inside. Wrap the wrap inside. inside. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, beer. <laughs> beer. Sorry, Turkish beer. Uh, beer. Beer. Lütfen. Durum. Durum. Durum. Durum. Durum. Durum. Durum. Yes. Durum. <laughs> Durum. <laughs> what? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Evet, evet. Sorry, Turkish is bira biliyorum. Turkish okay. bira kota Wow. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, and it's hard to speed run like this guy does. So much of it is using it in a conversation to get better. Turkish is the hardest to learn quickly without a lot of conversational practice. And he speed runs a lot of these language for particular trips. The pronunciation. What? Mrs. Hill. Please tell the judge what happened with little Lupe. Sue Pudinor. Yo poder ver que usted ser caballo reasonable. Ekvarma? Okay. Oh, oh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, All right. <laughs> okay. Tishiko. <laughs> But now we'll try. Wow, all right. He definitely has an attitude, I'll say that for sure. Oh, he's so good. That shit is going to be so bomb. Wow. Hey. Nareksine dayadı mı? Dayayacaksın kardeş, dayayacaksın. Bir de özel sos koyuyorlar. Of. I'm a, I, I've never had this particular, guys. Was that guy actually pissed? No, that's his whole shtick. Abi yiyonuz mu orada? Hayır, bizde yok çiğ köfte, mi köfte Amerika'da. Oğlum saçmalamayın lan. We have no we have no uh, raw meatballs in America unfortunately. Çok güzel. Teşekkür. I'm soaked with lemon this guy. Uh, merhaba. Okay, I'm this guy is taking him to all the trolls, dude. Come on. This is a dangerous element, dog. You can't do that. These guys are <laughs> America, America, geldim, America, geldim, Turk, uh, Turk, dan durma, uh, içmek, uh, yeah, denemek, içmek. denemek. <laughs> he said, I want to, I want to drink Turkish ice cream. <laughs> İçim. Yeah. Hangisi vanilla? The funniest part is whenever, like, Turkish people, because he's trying to speak Turkish, will just straight up talk back to him in Turkish without even, like, maybe trying to slow it down at all. Hangisi dan vereyim? <laughs> How is he gonna pick that up, dog? What the f are you doing? They didn't even. He he is acting like the dude in front of him is a native speaker when he knows the dude is not a native speaker. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> a Turk, Turk, uh, Turk yemek, uh, uh, Turk çok yemek. güzel. Çok güzel. Turk çok güzel. Adana kebap, Turkish kebap. Turkish kebap. Adana kebap. <laughs> This is so awesome, dude. God, I miss Turkey a lot. I didn't know you guys were such trolls. Oh my God, are you kidding me? The worst. To be fair though, uh, his his tour guide is taking him to like the maxed out biggest trolls. <laughs> yes, yes, handsome. Ah, there, come on, handsome. Ah, what? ah, handsome. Ah, ah. Uh. America done. Daha güzel. America done. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Turkey chose me, Shabia. Turkey chose me, Turkey. Turkey chose He's saying he solved in Turkish. He's saying he solved to Turkish. Okay. It's a term of reference. Like, to she choose me, Oh, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, That's a uh, şeffaf yönetim için TKP. Uh, this is um bu Tunceli'li değil mi bu adam? That's the Turkish Communist Party chat. Şeffaf yönetim için TKP. He's the bu bu tu, uh, Dersim. Are they dogs of Erdogan? Fuck no. TKP'li Kadıköy Belediye Başkanı adayı bu seçimde. He's joining Kadıköy for the election. Tunceli işte AK ne dersi mi emperyalist mi onu yazan sikafız ne bileyim lan Allah Allah. Didn't Erdogan say TKP, LGBT? No. TKP, Bozda abi, Türk İşçi Partisi'ne veriyoruz artık. No, the TKP, the Turkish Communist Party, all the left, most of the left parties, if not all of them, at least back in the day, were all like pro-Kurdish, oftentimes comprised of mostly Kurdish people too, in general, especially in like, like since the 90s. And then, um, and they are, uh, they're very, yeah, they're like either Kurdish or very pro-Kurdish uh, in general. What? Are you Turkish IRL? Biraz işler uh, işler nasıl? Şükür. Şükür. Şükür. Bir uh, bir gül, bir gül um, yüz. Güz. Almak almak istiyorum. Eşime. Eşime alıyorum. Eşine alıyorum. Eşime. Senin eşin var. Eşi eş ev, evli evli evli. Evli. Evet, Abi evet. Evli. Pardon. Benim Türkçen güzel güzel, güzel değil. Güzel, güzel değil. I guess the job done. Teşekkür. Teşekkürler. Okay. Güle güle. Ah, this is a book English. Yeah. Yani en çok sattığımız bu. En iyi. Arkadaşlar en iyisi bu. En iyi kitap Türkçe. En iyi. Nerede arkadaş? Am Amerika. Yeah. Amerika. Amerika. Yeah, Amerika. Amerikalıyım. Amerikalıyım. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Bir Amerikalıyım. New York. New York. New York. New York. Bak, New York. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ben ist İstanbul'da ilk defa, ilk defa geldim. Ben nereden bildin? Ha biliyor. <gülüyor> Nereden bildin New York'lu olduğunu? Ne farkı var Los Angeles'lı ile New York'lu arasında? Hemen illa bir şey diyecek. O bildim. <gülüyor> Yapma ya. Texas'lı olsaydı. She's like, oh yeah, totally. I, I, I'm just making fun of her for being like, oh yeah, no, definitely. I knew it. <gülüyor> that, you're from, <gülüyor> that you're from New York. It's like, you did not know that. You did not know that at all. You just... It's because you only know New York. That's why you're saying, oh, I knew it. Aksan kasmış. İlk defa. Evet. Türkçe'de internet. She is very sweet. Yaşıyorum. Yaşıyorum. Öğreniyorum. Oh, yeah. He said he lives in Turkey on accident. İlk defa. İlk defa geldim. İlk defa. İlk defa. Evet. Türkçe'de... Uh, internet, internet da uh, yaşı, yaşıyorum. Yaş İnternette yaşıyorum. Yaşıyorum is what he was trying to say, which is still wrong. He's saying like I lived on the internet, which doesn't translate to 
anything in Turkish. Yeah, Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Orin Hasan, any Turkish food wrecks in New York City help a brother out? I think there's a place called like Istanbul, Cafe Istanbul. There's a couple. Just look up Turkish food. Is it'll be good. It'll be decent. It will never be as good as Turkey though. Like the Turkish food in America, I've never had Turkish food in the United States of America that ever comes near the taste of Turkish food in Turkey. <laughs> what are other languages do you speak? Uh, I speak Chinese. Nice. Yeah, uh, Spanish. Spanish, a little bit. Um, Yoruba. Yeah, <laughs> my Yoruba is not kind of kind of rusty though. And your interest in Turkish is because I I like learning languages. How to say? Dil orinmek, çok istiyorum, çok seviyorum. Kolay gelsin. All right, kolay gelsin. He knows kolay gelsin. Respect, respect, bro, respect. Istiyorum is Aziri. What the f? Istiyorum. What do you mean? Istiyorum is Aziri. Ben de istiyorum. Kestade. Güzel, güzel mi? Good. It's Turkish yeah. too. Okay. Turkish food. Turkish food. Yes. Kestane. All right. İstanbul'da, İstanbul'da ilk defa geldim. Ya bilmiyorum. Bu ne? Amerika. New Yorkluyum. New Yorkluyum. Türkçe yemek. Çok uh, çok lezzetli, çok güzel lezzetli. Türkçe yemek çok lezzetli. Lezzetli. Denemek is Türkçe yemek. <gülüyor> It's like kestane fana ama herkes sevmez vardır orada da. Is roasted chestnuts. So he's he's saying like Türkçe yemek istiyorum, but I feel like it doesn't make sense because he's saying like he wants Turkish food. Turkish as the when you say Türkçe, it means Turkish as the language. So he's basically saying like, I want to try the Turkish language food. Istiyorum. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. Oh, uh, chestnut? Kestare. Kestane. Kestane. Kutuberi. Okay, that one. Oh, yeah. Beğendin mi? Yep, good. Beğendin mi? Güzel, güzel. Mm. Bira Bira. Bira. Oh, oh, Bira. Bira, okay. Uh, şimdi Bira. Bira. Uh, I don't f with chestnuts. I, I don't, I've never, I've never had, uh, like I've had uh, chestnuts, but I'm not like a big fan. Bira, içmek. İçmek istiyorum. Yeah. Bir de yiyeyim. It's good. It's good. Very perfect. Çok güzel. Kaçın bor. Kolay gelsin. Then I left Efkan behind and flew to the capital city of Turkey, Ankara, to meet the world's weirdest barber, subject for another video. But some very interesting things happened before. Oh. Yo. Şerma. Huh? Wait, how are you in Turkey, bro? <laughs> what? You know me? Yeah, bro. I what? watch you all the time on YouTube, bro. That's crazy. Oh, oh Do my... Do you know wait, you're? Wait, wait, I'm shaking, bro. What? Do you know you're the first person to actually, the first Turkish person to actually recognize me in Turkey? No way. Okay, bro. I would have recognized them. Come on, man. Actually, I don't know. He kind of looks like Ben Shapiro, though. Like I, I, this guy is in the chat for sure. No shot. Are you a RCTA kind of Turkish person? Race change the Asian? You didn't recognize him in the Jubilee video? That's anti-Semitic. Wait, what? Why? Shalma is Jewish, bro. Oh, really? I feel like I need to know that beforehand for this to be anti-Semitic. He doesn't look like Shabibo. I think he kind of does. He looks like he looks like Bizarro Shabibo, where he's like if Ben Shapiro decided to be understanding and welcoming of other cultures. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, good ending, Ben Shapiro. If Ben Shapiro lived a happy life. That's crazy. No way. Nasus, nasus, nasus. Iyim, sen nasus. Memnum oldum. Ah, iyim, iyim, iyim, iyim. Yeah, I was just about to get some uh, juice. Yeah, yeah. Come with me. It's fresh. Good. Hey, what about? Um, sorry. Biraz Türkçe biliyorum. Ah, bu bu ne? Blueberry. Blueberry? Blueberry. Okay. Oh no. Blueberry. Bu bu. Nar. Nar. Nar. Okay. Beer. Nar. Denemek istiyorum. Bir no. 
Taze? Taze mi? Hep taze. Bak Taze'm. yeni sıkıyorum. Evet. Hep yeni sıkıyorum. <gülüyor> Why is he keep asking him if they're fresh? Dog, that's disrespectful. Stop asking him if they're fresh. <laughs> I know he's trying to do small talk. But like, the other dude is not receiving it like that, okay? I know, I know he's just trying to do small talk, but it's so funny. Because the, the shopkeepers, every time he asks that question, it's like, what? Why would you question it? <laughs> oh, cool. Fresh. Okay. Fresh. Good. Uh, fresh. Otuz. Fresh. Fresh. Otuz. Fresh. Otuz. Fresh. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Erikli, by the way, is the Poland Springs of Turkey the most decadent? Oh, that water right there is the best Turkish water brand. Straight up, 10 out of 10. Oh my God, dude. That shit is so good. That is like the Deer Park, Poland Spring, like top shelf water, okay? I'm not drinking a water called Eric with a K. Artık değil, it's öyle değil mi? Uh, Erikli, <laughs> Erik actually means, uh, uh, uh, what is it? I'm gonna call him Erik in English, I forgot. Plum, thank you for the chatters. Erik means plum. Is it expensive? No. I mean, I guess it's expensive for Turkish prices. Everything is expensive in Turkey, it seems. Tamam. Taşako. Taşako. Pardon. Türkler çok misafir. Misafir. Misafir pervert. Yeah, see, he corrects him. Yeah, misafir just means guest. But if you're trying to say hospitable, misafir pervert is how you say it. America, America, America, America, Liam. Yeah, America, Liam. Yeah, Turkey, da. Türkiye'de uh, Ankara'da ilk defa ilk defa uh, uh, bugün, no bugün iki defa. This this dude went to two of the places I grew up in, Istanbul and Ankara. Ankara is way wacker than this, by the way. The way that he's showing Ankara, because well, he's not very he's not really showing Ankara at all. Abi yeşillik sever misin bilir mi bunlar? Uh, they yeah they have green plums in America, right? Like it's it's kind of tart. And you're supposed to eat it with salt. You put salt on it. Do they eat that in America? Green plums are very hard. Green plums are very hard and they're tart. They're not, they're not sweet at all. And you put salt on it and you eat it with salt. Yeah. This. Green gauges are a group of cultivars in the common European plum. The first green gauge came from the green fruited wild plum Persian, which originated in Iran. Green gauges are known in the temperate areas for rich confectionery flavor they're considered to be among the finest desert wait what dessert plums no it's not supposed to be sweet though <sighs> have you ever had a cucumber with salt and lime of course dude what do you mean i'm turkish that's umeboshi in japan how do you not realize yeşilin de tatlı var ekşisi var abi murat ben en son kaç senesi gittim Türkiye'ye? Hatırlıyor musun? 2017 mi? Ya Trump başkan olmuş muydu? Ben Trump'tan sonra mı gittim Türkiye'ye? 2017 is the last time I went to Turkey. Gel gel bu Amerikalı var bir tane. İngilizce konuşuyor. Türkçe konuşmaya çalışıyor. Gel bak. Yok istemiyorsun. Kamera karşısında çıkmak istemiyorsun öyle mi? Akşam burada mısın? Ne kadar? Kaç saat buradasın? No! Unripe plum diye geçiyor. That's good. Very sweet. Very sweet. Delicious. Lezzetli. Lezzetli. Tashakur. Thanks for the juice. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. This is really taze. Çok taze. It's fresh. Fresh. Very fresh. Yeah, really good. I don't think it's fresh, but... What? I don't think... No, he's squeezing it. I don't know. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, All right. Man. Have a good one, man. Corn? Hoş bulduk. Bro, this dude still needs to have kumpir, okay? That is like one of the peak Turkish street foods. It's cup, it's corn in a cup. This is good. Çok güzel. Okay. Yeah, ben, ben Türkiye'de... Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. 
Abi turistlere niye hiç İskender yetmiyorlar? Abi bu herif kendi kafasına göre takılıyor. Bana bırak. Türkçe yemek. By the way, Mexicans are Turks. Proof is in the pudding. Street corn. I'm just saying. Turkish people have street corn. Mexicans have street corn. Turkish people are Flexican. Flexicans are Turks. Where are you from? Where are you from? America. America, Liam. Yeah. Youtuber dediği anda kameranın önüne gelmeye başladı. Eyvah eyvah. Hiç demeyeceksin abi. <gülüyor> okay. He said, he said, uh, I'm a YouTuber and it instantly they're like, okay, they're getting active. He's looking it up. It's, it's yeah. Ücret yok, tamam. Delicious. Tamam. Kendine bak. Tamam, çok tamam. Çay kahve içer misin? Çay? Ha? Misin? Çay? Okay, yeah, yeah. Gel, çay söyleyelim sana. Beğendin mi? Hmm? Beğendin mi? Good. Good, good, good, good. Hmm. Türkiye'de bir derdin, bir sıkıntın olur, her türlü arayabilirsin Allah'ın izni. Kardeşim. Wait, what is he saying? What? Ne dedi? Türkiye'de bir derdin, bir sıkıntın olur, her türlü arayabilirsin Allah'ın izni. <gülüyor> bir derdin olursa hemen arayabilirsin. Oh, god damn, dude. Oh my god, bro. Uh, Murat. Toyota'yı geri mi getirdin? Toyota'yı geri mi getirdin? Yok yok, iyi okey peki. Arkadaşım burada bu saatte süre merak etme. Üçüm no, you look great. You guys are funny. Çekiyorum, gülüseyim. Memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Memnun oldum, çap. Great to meet you. Memnun oldum. Ekmek, ekmek var mı? Oh! Oh, ekmek. Oh my god, brother. Listen, listen, listen. There are very few things that I miss as much as beyaz ekmek ne var bunun amına koyayım. Oğlum yok öyle Allah Allah siktirin gidin. Gidip gidip sabah e, sabah 6'da 7'de gidip ekmek alıp sıcak sıcak eve getirmek bunun e, böyle bir şey paraleli yok yani Amerika'da. Hasan is so homesick that he's missing little water. Dude the Turkish bread is so good. Ama taze mi? <gülüyor> okay okay. Sorry, benim uh, Türkçe Amerikalıyım. Uh, Türkçe ya benim... da Ramazan pidesi. Of. Of sıcak sıcak. Vay amına koyayım. Sıcak sıcak sokarım yani. <gülüyor> Biz de şimdi Ramazan'da pide yiyorlar ekmekten de iyi. Aa, biraz biraz Yok, iyi, güzel, güzel. Güzel. Bili, uh, değil, değil, güzel. Güzel güzel. Biliyorum. Biliyorum. Değil değil. Güzel güzel. Türk ekmek. Taze ekmek. There's a restaurant in Samsung called Hasan abi gözleme mantı. Keşke. This is one of the reviews. Our brother Hasan seems to think that he's a place. That he had, he is a place overlooking the Bosphorus. For God's sakes, what are these prices? Okay, the market is booming. It's a pancake or phyllo dough and a piece of cheese inside. Don't exaggerate so much. The taste is not the same as before. It's very ordinary, even bad. <laughs> Seems to think that he has a place overlooking the Bosphorus. Denemek istiyorum. Bir tane, oğlum şöyle düzgün de güzel de bir tane. Gel bakalım. Uh, hangisi, hangisi, hangisi daha so this is literally the greatest Turkish invention of all time. I know it sounds so basic to say, but ekmek, like this kind of bread, this kind of bread, it's just bread. Don't say it's just bread. It's not just bread. This kind of bread is, weirdly enough, it, I, there's never really like, um, were cannons invented in Turkey? No, uh, Chinese, but Turks were the first to use it in uh in a in a battle situation against uh a castle or a, a fortress in Istanbul in Constantinople in 1453 like a siege cannon 
Um, that part is actually true. So uh, I I don't know why in America I feel like I've never seen this kind of bread. Like I've never been able to have this exact same type of bread. And artık kötü yapılata da aynı Okay, every Turk in the chat is gaslighting me, telling me everything that I miss from Turkey is no longer the same, and it sucks. Abi güzel de senin eski halini şişko asan yapan bu beyaz ekmekler yedi çiğdiriyor amına koyayım ekmeği valla e, evet. Um, the chatters are making fun of me saying that you were fat in Turkey because you kept eating this bread because the, this bread is like, it's not very dense nutritionally. It's like filled to the brim with sugar, I think. It's not sweet. It doesn't give a sweet taste unless you keep chewing it in your mouth. We did this in science class when we were younger. Uh, where if you keep the bread in your mouth and you keep chewing it over and over and over again without swallowing it, it becomes sweet because it's basically breaking down. That's just how carbohydrates work. I mean, sure, because your saliva uh, is breaking it down. But anyway, regardless, it's just very, uh, it's just very, it's not technically sweet when you first eat it, but it does get sweet pretty quick. It's like a bollillo in Mexico. Amerika'da yok. Ekmek. Uh, America uh, va, va, var, va, uh. Oh wow, no, this is a nice one. Look at that. Yes. Yok böyle ekmek oğlum Amerika'da. Yok amına koyayım. Mm. Yok, yok, yok, yok. It's like there is no bread like this in America, okay? No, I'm telling you, it's like super crunchy on the outside with that crust, specifically crusted on the one side and then incredibly soft on the inside. I'm telling you, they don't have this shit. Not good. Tazim. Tazim. Çok tazim. No. Senin Türk olduğunu bilmiyordum. Konuşurken duydum ama oldukça kötü. Ayrıca o ekmek şimdi çok berbat. Okay, this is Google translated. I can tell. I knew it. I knew it. Because you tried to come at me and say, I didn't know you were Turkish. And I listened to you speak and it's really bad. And now uh, the bread actually sucks. I knew immediately that you were Google translating. Wow. And is that me? Afiyet olsun. All right. <laughs> afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. Afiyet. Oh, oh yeah. Bon appetit. Huh. Afiyet olsun. Evet. Oh. Bon appetit. Cool. Ben oh, Mustafa. Cool. Interesting. Notice how we said bon appetit because the English language is one of the few languages where there is no word for like may your food be glorious or whatever. Like afiyet olsun means like. I hope it's delicious kind of thing. Like it's just it's uh it's something that you say in in Turkish and you say it in almost every other language. You don't have it in English. Enjoy your food, dumbass. No, but you never say that. It's not like a thing that you definitely are going to say. Straight up. It's called this shit bussin. No, I don't know how to describe this to Americans, man. There is a term in almost every language that you say like bon appetit, okay? That is a very common phrase that you use every single time before you eat. But there is no English, like there is no direct English word for it. There's no direct English term for it. The food equivalent to cheers doesn't exist in English, exactly, which is so weird. Yeah, like itadakimasu in Japanese or afiyetosun. Was it prove buen provejo? I learned the phrase Kaze Ekmek and I just had to use it. And it came in handy. This is delicious. Also, so cheap too. An entire gigantic loaf of bread for eight liras, which is 25. Sense? Bro, that she's got no nutritional density. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, dog. The reason why it is because it's got no nutritional value whatsoever. Also, eight lira is actually not cheap for Turkish people. Um, and 
it is unimaginable that like Turkish bread is eight lira. Bread is supposed to be like much like simit, but even more so than simit. Bread is literally like um, bread in Turkey is supposed to be the thing that like you know it, it, everyone can have. It's what you eat when you're poor. Eskiden biliraydı ya dilirjam ya. It was like it used to be like maximum one lira, not even. That's a quarter. What a deal. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. So I ended the day by randomly meeting a fan who treated me to a sumptuous meal and I returned to New York very happy. Make sure to subscribe for one more really cool turkey video coming up. I can't up wait and to see that one. Bro, did he, did he put that out? Oh, this is five hours ago. A fork? Oh. His profile is like a little bit like Ben Shapiro from the GoPro camera, but like from up front, he doesn't look like Ben Shapiro at all. I think like, I think a lot of, I think we're being too harsh on this dude. Yeah, I think, or not even we, I've never been harsh on this dude. I, I just always thought that he was like swagged out. He's a swagged out white boy uh, when it comes to Mandarin. But watch his Punjabi videos. They laugh at him. I mean, it's not the same when it's a language that I don't understand. I was laughing at his Turkish. Yeah, it's, it's just most motherfuckers in the U.S. can barely speak English, let alone a second language. I agree. You don't know you, Unk. Sen Almanca bilmiyor mu doktor biraz? Bilmiyorum oğlum. Ne Almanca bildiğim bir şey yok. İki üç tane kelime biliyorum sadece. Alright, hey everybody. Bro, this is real, by the way. This is not even a joke. This is straight up. He's leaking state secrets right now. This dude. MIT, the Turkish CIA and FBI rolled into one is going to come after this motherfucker because let me tell you something. This is some secrets that should have never been leaked out of Turkey. Okay. This is not even a joke. This is going to cause the lira to actually plummet even further. I cannot believe that they let this come out of the country. Are they really called MIT? Yes. MIT. Milli İstihbarat Teşkilatı. You're seriously telling me that's not hazing? No, man. Good morning. It's 6.30 in the morning here in uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Yet. We're here at uh, Mirima Sultan Hammam. Listen, I've been wanting to get a hammam for a long time, and I'm finally here in Istanbul um, with my friend Efkan, who uh, he said, hey, you got to come to Istanbul. Merhaba. Merhaba. Efkan, amına koyayım senin. Batırdın bizi, utandırdın. Bütün dünyaya... Neler yaptın ya? Allah cezanı vermesin Efkan. Amına koyayım. This guy, he sold us out. This Efkan, he sold us out, bro. Bitirdin bizi, bitirdin. Rezil olduk, rezil olduk dünyaya. Hoş geldin. Thank you, hoş bulduk. Nasılsın? Uh, i̇yiyim, iyiyim. Nasılsın? Teşekkür ederim, ben de iyiyim. Let's go. You say, and you, and I, you told me there's lots of like uh, big hairy Turkish guys who are gonna yes, really Yes, really, really. We will choose which one you want. You get to choose. I think we will choose the biggest one and okay. the most scary. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay. We'll All get right. back to the video in a second, but first, thanks to Raycon for sponsoring it. As you know, I'm always on the go, exploring new cultures What's and new learning new languages. languages. Yeah, Whether he has no idea what is to become of him. Okay, let me tell you. There's one thing that's oh my God! What is anana cream? Anana koy? Amana koy? Amana koy? It means I. Your now pussy. picture this. I'm learning Yoruba and my headphones are falling out with every surprise look that I get, but not my Raycons. They stay snug no matter how much I move, thanks to their optimized gel tips. And when I'm deep into my language learning sessions, the noise isolation feature is an absolute game changer, allowing me to immerse fully without any distractions. Keep the adjuroni? No, I'm really doing cool ethical reacts, bro. Shut up. With 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life with the included case, my Raycons are always ready, keeping me company with my favorite tunes or the latest language podcast I'm hooked on. But don't just take my word for it. These earbuds have thousands of five-star reviews for a reason. They offer premium quality audio at half the price of other brands. And the best part? Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash yamanyc to get 20% of your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. Thanks for well, supporting I'm the channel. Me, I'm I'm Kanka, memleket neresiydi senin? İstanbul ve Ankara. 100 years old. 500? 500 years old, yes. Like Ankara like exactly. Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara Ankara 
Baba tarafı Baba tarafı İstanbul Yunanistan'dan İstanbul Anne tarafı Kilis Bro he's kind of shredded now Okay Shauma He's kind of shredded Ben de Ankaralıyım Allah'ın adamıyım um, O Yunan göçmeni gang Evet Selanik Atatürk'ün olduğu memleketten Baba da göçmenlik var o zaman. Yok hayır lan dede dede. 1919'da doğmuş adama göçmenlik diyorsunuz. Yani baba değil dede e, Türkiye'ye geliyor. Selanik'ten. Babaanne de Girit'ten. Herkes Selanik göçmeni. We're talking about where my uh, parents are from. My my dad and my my grandfather, my father's father is from Selanik. Uh in in Greece and my grandmother is from Crete also in Greece but Turkish but pre-Turkey basically so your Greek then confirmed I don't know if you guys I don't know how to describe it but no I, I don't know any Greek değişim olayını bilmedikleri için yabancılar anlayamıyorlar evet Seleniki not Selanik yeah don't tell Stavros. I have told Stavros. He knows. <sighs> Your ancestors were Greek. You are Turkish. To understand this, you have to understand the Ottoman Empire. Yes, literally. Um, is it traditional cloth he's wearing? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I've definitely seen that before. Um, what you haven't seen before is the top of the hour ad break, though. Which I forgot to run. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I'm running it now. Nothing underneath this loin cloth. <laughs> so Fcon, you're right. No, no, no underwear over here. No, nothing. All right. Totally. <laughs> okay. Fcon. Fcon. On a Mississippi Fcon. I've never heard the name Fcon before. That's got to be a new and variant. Start the process. Hiç duymadım adama ben Efkan diye bir isim. New Day la eski isim. Hiç duymadım oh, yeah. adama. Merhaba, merhaba, merhaba. Yeah, who? Süleyman. Süleyman? Oh, uh, Benny. You said Benny Maran Ari. Evet. Ari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, i̇lk defa, ilk defa Türkiye'de. Tamam. I know Efe, Efe Can. In Turkish, in Turkey we put Can after every name. Okay? Like pretty much every goddamn name or John in and of itself, C A N, it spells, uh, that's how it's spelled. And you read it like John, okay? Ali John, Baba John. Well, Baba John is the last name. <laughs> no, Hassan John. Hassan John doesn't, I don't think there's a Hassan John. John, Efe, Jem, Bark John. So, Hamami, Hamama, it may be. This is so cool, dude. This is like, like, um, like deep in the palace walls. Yüksek sesle konuşmayın. Lütfen suları boşa akıtmayın. Look at that ugly ass fuck. Hamama gittim arkadaşlar ama e, hep böyle Antalya'da falan yani ufak ufak tefek e, şey e, kadın hiç vurdurtmadım yani. E, yok gerçi yok gitmişimdir büyük ihtimalle hatırlamıyorum şu anda ama yani karışık hamam mı yok hayır hayır yani şey e, normal hamam değil yani şey bir otel hamamı resort hamamı. Hiç vurdurtmadım mı neler diyorsun abi? Ulan şaka olarak söylüyorum amına koyayım. Hasan revizyonisttir. Marksizm, Leninizm, Maoizm'in ölümsüz biliminden daha sık bahsetmesi gerekiyor. Ayrıca bunu Google'da tercüme ettim. Ben Minos adlı bir Yahudi çocuğuyum. 
Hassan is a revisionist. Marxist Leninism, Maoism is an immortal science. He must talk about this immortal science of Marxist Leninism, Maoism more. Also, I just Google translated this. I am a Minnesotan Jewish boy. <laughs> Whoa, you know, watch out, bro. People, they were nomadic. Yeah. So we didn't have Haman. But in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. It's a Roman style. And from the Roman it came. Roman, my land, they had all the Roman. Romanlardan mı öğrendik lan Hamamı? Because people forget, but Istanbul was the capital of the Roman Empire. Exactly. Like the capital, it was basically Rome. I don't even know that. For a thousand years, you know? So I guess. Yeah. But he's right that Turks were nomadic originally, so Even it makes sense. In the Ottoman history, they called themselves uh, Caesar, Kaiser, yeah. Caesar of the Rome. So we can say Ottomanistic kind of Turk Roman Empire. Oh my God, don't get him, oh God. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, he's doing Turkish memes, bro. He's saying that the Ottoman Empire is the continuation of the Roman Empire. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> In the 1500s, the Ottomans referred to themselves as Romans. Yeah, good luck explaining that to anyone west of Istanbul, okay? Absolutely zero people west of Istanbul is ever going to Kayserum. I I listen, it don't matter, okay? Guys, I don't think a lot of people understand. Turks being Muslim is like, that's it. That's that they will never be considered European for this reason. Historically, the Ottoman Empire is Muslim. And because of that, no one in Europe ever considered them to be European at all. They would skip Turkey and, and consider Rome uh, uh, to be Moscow before Turkey. This is a major source of conflict the religious division historically speaking okay they never let go of the whole moors and they they never they never let go of the whole ottoman empire going all the way to the gates of vienna they will never let go of that they never thought of it as like oh we're just fighting amongst ourselves like the french and the british did right they were like no no no this is a completely separate demon I miss the 90s when the European elites pretended that someday Turkey will be considered European. Listen, as as a person whose father has like written books on the subject matter of Turkey's like entrance into the European Union, let me tell you something, okay? That shit was never happening from the jump. There is no world in which the European Union allows a country with 90 million Muslims to be a part of the European Union. That that literally would be that would literally be, a, a, like, there would be so much terrorism, like white terrorism. I don't mean, like, Islamic terrorism in the way that you think I'm talking about, okay? There is just no shot. EU would skip over Turkey and, and let in uh, Israel before they would let Turkey in. Russia could be in the European Union before Turkey. I mean, Greece made it into Europe, so maybe Turks have a chance to. F no. Are you kidding me? Hello? Greece is... Christian, that would never ever happen. That, like, in, if you go to Rome, they don't have stuff like this. They don't have hamams in Rome. You know? Pick one.
โอ้Imagine being bathed by another man. Listen, Turks have a lot of gay ass homoerotic traditions, okay? Literally, oil wrestling, our national pastime. Are you joking? Yes. This is not gay at all. This is the straightest thing you can do, okay? The straightest thing you can do is have a massive, hairy, normally, old guy exfoliate your skin and slap the living shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, chop with him, chop with him. It's like, it's like getting yourself, uh, it's like someone taking, check, check, check. taking a bath check, for check, you. Check. He wants to show the dead skin. <laughs> Do you pay for this? Am I man doing it for the fun of it? No, you pay for it, bro. He's like... Yes, this is what he does. This is his job, bro. You think they found a random old guy to bathe him? No, man. <laughs> yeah, he's just the yeah, he's just the pervert. He's the hammam pervert. They have one in every hammam. No, he like works there. I just got off a plane. <laughs> and you know the best part is like you don't know when that's coming. Would I move? I don't know. Kid, kid. <laughs> kid, kid. Check it out. <laughs> That's his skin, by the way. That's literally his dead skin. Yeah, That's you're supposed to get slapped. They hit you hard as fuck, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. Very dirty. Yeah, he's been a dirty boy. No, but I like this. The only other thing I've had is uh, Korean scrub. That's kind of similar to this. I'm just so nervous now. I'm like, oh. Oh, I think there might be a reason why no other cultures have adopted this way of bathing. Yeah, bro, because this is like, it's OP. I'm terrified I'm gonna like do the wrong thing and something bad is gonna happen. You just manhandling me like a- You go here? Yes, sir, I will go there. When I said I wanted the biggest, hairiest Turkish man, I wasn't sure if I knew what I was getting into. This is great, though. Çok, çok seviyorum. <laughs> He's about to be like, bro, say no homo. <laughs> How is this not gay? It's true. No, man, it's not gay at all. This is not even remotely gay. No, you don't go dick out. No, no, no. That would be gay. No. One, you say no homo. Two, your dick is never shown. You can't have your dick out. That's crazy. Have you tried this before? Yes. Straightest activity in Turkey? Yes. <laughs> He's cracking his toes, bro. What happens when you get a boner, dude, I'm telling you right now, your ass is getting beat, okay? There is very little chance that in that process you're getting a boner. I mean, I guess, I don't know. 
This is very straight. Hey, Fgar, so tell him this would be illegal in the United States of America. Oh, it's, good. it's not. I have gotten one of these before, but usually from uh, uh, women. But I have gotten it. I think, I've got, I think I remember getting it one from a dude as well. Okay, bro, chill. Yo, chill, dude. <laughs> How many oh, bodies man. is this? This is oh. 10 bodies. Did you hear that crack? Good. Good. Chad is about to do this to you. <laughs> They got this man moaning. <laughs> Big homie is biting the covers, man. They have a whole chiropractor TikTok lane that is wild. Dude, dude, this is this is wild, yes. It's like combination Korean body scrub and, and like Thai massage and chiropractic. All the best things in one. Oh man. He's taking literal back shots. Can you ask him where he learned to, to do this? Forty years. Wow. <laughs> He's been slapping dudes' dicks off for forty years, big dog. He is. He got his toes curly. Bro, he just he just grabbed his ass like a piece of steak, dude. He's just pulling my skin up. It's so funny because this is the least gay man in Turkey. I'm not even remotely kidding when I tell you this. This is like, this man is, this man doesn't even have like 1% gay in him. Believe me when I tell you this. I don't know how to describe it, okay? Like, this is the least gay man in Turkey. I know it sounds insane when I say it like this. <laughs> Shaoma is having a religious experience here, hitting the O face, but I don't know how else to describe it. What the fuck? What is he doing? What? What? He's like trying to cut my skin off. Holy shit. I will never be able to describe this to someone who's just watching from afar. <laughs> I'd be asking, what are we after? <laughs> okay. 
Sure, sure. It's fine. All right, you're bored. <laughs> He's putting bro in positions I've never thought of before. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally been doing this for 40 years, chat. Think about that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh he tickled his belly? Classic move. Classic move. The belly tickles a classic move. You guys don't understand. This is advanced shit. This video gets out. He will not be able to join the Turkish military. You're wrong. Turkish military does not. Turkish military will have you for this. They'll be like, oh, you're straight as hell. What do you mean? Evet. Is the water cold? No. You guys, everybody come to Istanbul. Check this guy out. We're hiding still coming around. Amazing. And and ear and ear massage uh, in uh, Istanbul, uh, the whole world. This is a cool addition. You're crazy, dude. This is great. I love that. It's not over. Oh, sir. All right, catch your course. And also, if you guys need a good uh, Turkish teacher, make sure to check out Efkan. <laughs> Link so. in description. He's very good. Çok güzel. That was sick. That was iconic. Much respect to Shauma. Swag that white boy.